All right, welcome back, you... Um, Rapscallions. Yeah, that. We're continuing. We're, walk, we're walking into the sexy door, the sexy light. Because, you know, we need to play the song Sexy Beast after this. You gotta sing Discovery Channel song. Just like they do on the Discovery Channel. Oh, yes, sir. Dude, did, did you ever wonder as a kid, why is it allowed for animals to have intercourse on TV, but I'm not allowed to even walk around naked? <laughs> that, you, you do know that's a thought that ran through somebody's mind at one point. It definitely ran through yours. This is, uh, <laughs> no. I got to find a door. I think you found the door. Oh, I thought it was going to be this because the light was purple. Is it going to be one of those dumb Scooby-Doo doors where you're chasing? Oh. No, it's going to be more like that famous painting. Oh, yeah. Where all the stairs are like... Upside down. Upside down. Cross and all that upside, other good stuff. Yeah. And Scooby-Doo, evidently. No, I'm not going to look for hats. Oh. Wait, did I just see my own? Oh yeah, I can see my own shadow over there. There we go. No. Can I close this door? No. Something to do with this. Uh, wait, am I stuck now? Okay. I guess I hope not. Something to do with this, I think. The warped filing cabinet? Yeah. I mean, I was able to climb it, right? Only to a certain point. Hmm. So try going through a forward again. Or going through the other one that you came out of. I'm stuck here. Can you just go down the hall? The other hall. The other hall? So it looks like there's a hallway down there. Nope. Okay. That's the door, I think. There's another door there. So if you just kept running through them in order. Hmm. So try going through it, see what happens. Wait, what? So try going forward through the door. Because if it, it might change something, depending on how many times you go through it. This is just a guess here, because I'm trying to figure it out at the same time as you are. Mm. It has to do something with this, I know for sure. Something to do with this clock. Grandfather clock. Uh, but I can only jump off it. And then there's that music. Oh, gotta pay attention to the music. Okay, so I'm getting further away from the music.
Go back to the other door. So you have to go through the doors with the music. Sorry, I'm quiet because I'm concentrating, but... Yeah, so pay attention to the music and go through the doors with the... With the music. Um, we're hearing this, right? Yes. And there's music in the door that you just came out of. So go back through that. Okay. There you go. There's basic. I guess do it again. It was basically your stupid lost forest and ocarina of time. I'm guessing so. Okay, so don't go through that door. This is oh shit. Might be the same thing. Pay attention to the music. No, I don't hear anything. Oh, you're right. I hear you, but where are you? Where are you? Oh. This is interesting. How is this a building, man? Is there's no office? There's no cubicle office. Oh, I see. So it's the same music puzzle. Yeah. So not that one. The one closest to us on the right side. Oh, I had to open this door. Oh, so it's now just with four doors? Yeah. There we go. More doors, great. See what's in this area. Oh, interesting. Ah, oh, shit, I screwed up. All right, I know what to do. Damn it. Oh, push down that. Yeah, to push down that, because it's going to be continuing to go all the way through. Yeah. Oh, excuse me more. See, you guys, I know French. Bon appetit. This door. Yep. And it's saving. Yeah, well, that was a French word, right? I don't know. I don't know what you said. I said, and it's saving. Oh, no, that's not the door. I think that is the door. Oh, it is. <gasps> is that you? Aaron Yeager? Is that you, Original Six? 
I don't know. That's my theory. So I guess call out to her. I forgot that triangle did that. Okay, 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 sorry. That a girl. Yeah, that's what she woke up in in the old nightmares. I don't know what to do with this. Am I supposed to destroy this thing? Yep. Destroy the source of the music. Oh, she's chasing after me. Okay. Well, you did destroy her music box. Oh, I thought she would be... Uh, she will be okay. You son of a gun. If only escape rooms were this intense. Funny that an escape room wants to be lost. Oh, you ran out of time? Yeah. They asked us what the. Because of the final room. They ask you what your IQ is? No. Oh. In the final room, they uh, gave the question that you were supposed to figure out. Mm hmm. And it was uh, three. Because there's three rows in the room written on the walls. Yeah. And they all had the same answer. Oh. Uh, yeah, I've never done an escape room. I mean, after what playing this game, you can tell I'm not going to survive in an escape room. Jigsaw. In this case, Henry Saw. Nothing. Okay, I need to break this damn thing. Where the hell does she go? I don't know. She might be in the other room and she needs to go through it. Yep. <gasps> oh no. Okay, now the question is what do you do here? Alright. I guess now you know. Trying to get her away from that dumb thing and grab the axe and break it. Oh, I see. I see. All right. She goes after my voice. And I leave little echoes. There we go. I would like to beat this game as much without using the uh, help guy. <laughs> uh. Sorry, I figured you might need the help. That's fine. Grab that. Hey, you just figured out how to do the other two rooms without my assistance. Yeah. Oh, I think it's the same thing here. Yeah, except uh There's just now more spaces. <sighs> this... Got it. Alright, that's what I thought. Okay, fine. Jeez. Okay, carry this. There we go, right on time. She almost grabbed me. Her and her giant jazz hands? Yeah, her Aaron Yeager hands. She has long hair and... Are that you end? saying that this is the start of the Titans? The ending to that anime is stupid, huh? Are you saying the, 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 this is the start of the Titans? Yeah. 
How does Attack on Titan end? I'm not gonna spoil it. But it's so dumb. Keep hearing that. Is is this? I think the guy, the Arthur, was like, "Yeah, this is." Uh, I'm too tired. I'm going to write the most laziest ending in the whole world. Oh, so you really have to drag that axe around. Oh, no, there's a separate axe up there. God damn. Ooh. I didn't even know. Okay. I thought I could come down with the Gax, but that's a good point because I can't bring myself. What happens if I go here? You stupid little brat. You had one job. She hits it hard, evidently. <sighs> okay. So can you call her towards the door in the back, then? And do what? Well, if you call her towards that one, you're going to pop out on the other side. You're going to have to keep distracting her. I accidentally pressed triangle. I think this is supposed to be the final room, that's why it's so hard. Excuse me? You can scratch your own butt through those doors, evidently. Yeah. Son of a bitch! <laughs> she didn't even have to do much of it. So she does it twice. Attacking through the same door. Yeah. She slapped your face. <laughs> this is going to be a hard one, people. God damn, who's Ooh. So what if you called her towards, uh, not that door, but the... The one lower here? Yeah, the one closest to us over here. Call her through that one. I don't know why I did that, but I see where, yeah. Is that she's too, if she comes to this side, she's so close to the damn axe. Well, you could call her to the other side. How am I doing? Because the axe has to stay up there. Yeah. I screwed up. Hug me. You kidding me? She elbowed you. <laughs> no, it's not even that. The fact she, that she didn't even attack you. That, yes. Okay.
<laughs> Why is this had to be so tough or somewhat stupid? I can't even see myself when I come out this damn doors. This is going to be a long ass episode. I was wondering if there's an easier way to do it. Honestly. Not saying the mechanics are bad or anything. It's just difficult. I can grab blocks. Is my t my timing of jumping is a nightmare, dude. Son of a bitch! You, I fucking hate you! Damn it! Oh, did you find anything? Nah, it's just saying you need to drag the axe near the portal. Why did this man have to be so small? Nothing but bones and dick. Because she won't let you, even let you get the axe. No, she so won't. If you, so if you call her over to the portal where you're at, run through it, grab the axe and drag it down, you could probably get through the portal. I'm leaving all this in here. I don't care if it's a long ass episode. Because she does stick her hand through the two back portals. And this boy has a hard time climbing rocks. Oh, but you can climb windows. You can climb TVs. But rubble stuff, oh yeah, okay. That's a no-go. That's a no-go. We'll probably find a way to get the axe down to the floor that you're on. Why? It's not going to do me any good. Because she does stick her hand through the back two portals. That does give her enough, that does give you enough destruction time. Hopefully. Dude, it's the climbing that does it for me too, man. It's not just the axe or the enemy. This... He just likes to take a sweet old time getting anywhere, doesn't he? I 
I don't know what to do at this point, man. The dragging of the axe is annoying. The the climbing is annoying. Uh And then he takes forever to grab the damn axe, too. There's that. Son of a... Even if I touch her little fingers... You die? I still die! Shit, let me fucking beat this game. Not even a slap, just a nice little high five, and it fucking kill me. My strategy now is to slowly make it move the axe near the damn thing. Oh, and I hate exiting the damn door from the right. Nothing. Nah, it was the strategy I was thinking of. You okay? I'm good. I'm good. I'm fantastic. I'm having a wonderful day. How's everybody doing? I'm doing great, guys. Oh, yeah. I, uh... It's Memorial Weekend, you know, now you know when we're recording this, it's a Memorial Weekend. Uh, the nice, the weather has been nice. Um, you know, Jason, you got a day coming up, how's that, you know? Hopefully oh, good. Yeah, oh yeah, better than this garbage, I bet. Um, Alright, so, do you want to hear what the strategy is? Well, yeah, yeah, well tell me, please, what, what does the... So, they call... Six over to the door on the left closest to us. Mm -hmm. They run up, grab the axe, drag it off. Off? What's off? They they drag it off that platform. Really? Yes. Interesting. And then they go to the door in the back right, call six, go through the door, and they stop for a second. And then they hit the... Man, you really do just die when you touch her. And as she's reaching through the portal, they hit the music box.
I'm listening at the same time I'm not, but I'm listening. So, call her over to the bottom left hand door. Actually, I think we should distinguish which one's bottom left and which one's not. Oh, you got it. Okay. So now you can drag it over to the portal over there. Yeah. Easy. Anyways, the weather's nice. It's been pretty rainy, you know? A couple of days. I don't know why I did that, but yeah. Jack in the box is will be here next uh, in the next month. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so go through that. I'm doing something. Yes, you are getting closer. I'm doing... My fucking left brain is... Stupid. Why do I keep running when I can just use teleport? I don't know. Do this, go up here. Over there. And not even grab the axe. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to do a little lapse around the stage. I don't mind if they add skill trees in this damn game. Skill trees and little nightmares. Yeah, make the little dude run faster. Okay, go through the, this portal. Call her over to this one. Now go over to the back one. Call her. Is this what Elon Musk feels whenever his rockets doesn't work and they explode in front of him? I don't know what Elon Musk feels. Yeah, he's a robot. Yeah, what? Do we need to take a break? No, it's raining, man. Hallelujah. I'll just cut the areas where I'm just concentrating. There's nothing to talk about. All right. Yep, I did it again. My man. Okay. So go through this portal. This one? Yeah, this one. Let's pause for a second. Just for a second so we can clarify what we're going to be doing here. Well, I'm not going to be moving. Okay, so call her over to this portal. Okay. Go through it. Go up to the one on the same side that you come out of. Go up to that one. Call her. Go through it. Hit it. Thank you. Also, that's also part of, you know. Yeah. We need content. We need someone to get angry. Why are we called grunt monkeys if one of us is not grunt? I think now you just have to get the axe and hit it one more time. Move your fingers. Call her? Sure. 
He's going, no! Cockroach, <laughs> not good. Uh, yeah. Okay, so maybe me calling her is annoying, but she has to close her ears. Maybe. Yep. You don't need this music. Where did this music even come from? All right. All right, wake up. Stop. Don't touch. Hey, you're back. You're back to normal. Are you okay? Are you done? Are you done? Is it, is it, was it that time of the month? She seems a little young for that. I don't know. After all that, I don't... Of course, after all the chemicals we pump in our food, I won't be surprised either. Uh, oh, I've got creepy eyes looking at me. The fact that she's so much faster than you is ridiculous, man. You. Are we sure this wasn't inspired by H.P. Lovecraft? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, H.P. Lovecraft did a fantastic job at, uh, origins of creatures. He had a lot of cosmic horror entities. Yeah. Makes me wonder what the hell was in that guy's mind. I don't know. Why are you so fast? Yeah, at least you made it. Yeah, I made it. It's just. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Six, for not saving me. I think this is the end of the game, anyways. Come on. Better be the end. I, I, this is the worst TV show ever. Don't let me go. Do not let me go. Pull up. What you're doing? This is not Lion King. Long live the queen. You. <laughs> bitch. You're like, this is not your story. It was mine all along. What was the name of that movie? Dread? Dread? Judge Dread. Oh, yeah. Not the one with Sylvester Stallone, the newer one. Oh, the new one? Yeah. Yeah, where he uh, has that woman take a hit of slow, and then he throws her out the window. Oh, yeah. You just made a monster. Is that it? Is that the end of the game? I think so. I'm waiting for title credits to pop up or something. Have I been absorbed by the creature? No. I'm going to set my... my... You look like the boy from the first one. Right, I'm going to end it here. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Let's continue. Let's do this. I don't know. As you wander through the cosmic view. Ugh. I don't know how long I've been going Cosmic. For. What time is it? 238. Going oh, for over an yeah, hour. I'll be going for minutes. like 30, 30 minutes. I am now keen of this monstrosity of octopus. Are you sure you're not Lord of the Flies? Do I control this? This reminds me of the kid who controls the rats in the uh, uh, flag tail, plague, plague tail, plague tail. Oh, yeah. Can't move. I can move the camera. Yeah, heartbroken, man. I know. 
Okay. As we fade to black. Yep. Oh, is he the Fedora man? Yeah, that's what is assumed. Because he's already older now. 20 years later. Thirty years later, I'm counting by time. I better have a face, not one of those like melted faces from the uh, NPCs. Where it's nothing but a bunch of. Flesh rolled over itself. Yeah. How the hell did I become the uh, Fedora man? Am I Mr. Rogers? No. Oh. Alright, time for me to chase after the girl. Right? I... Oh, dude, not only did I grew, but the chair grew too. What's interesting about this is that it makes me think of a time loop where you yourself are trying to stop yourself from saving yourself to save the other person so that none of it ever happens. So a paradox? A, a time loop paradox, yes. I, I hate stories with that kind of ending of time loop paradox crap there was a move it was a horror movie i saw of that one time i think it was a they were all members of a rock band or something that played the creatures yeah the movie ends the exact same way the movie began the only difference is the color of the crayon the girl was using at the beginning oh. and at the end that's it that was the only difference cool well, that was the end of this game. Thanks for watching. Thankfully, this is the last episode because I don't mind the last episode being long. So, yeah. What'd you think of it? I thought it was a good game. Uh, the puzzles were... They were interesting, but they also weren't very intuitive in some locations. Yeah. Such as, you eventually probably would have caught on to the music hint in the last one with the doors. Yeah. And I feel like the last, the second to last area with six, where you're having to call her through the different four doors, I feel like it should have been a bit bigger to give you a bit more time to run around the room. I would say settings, like, turn on or for turn on turn on or off like little tips here and there if you get stuck for like longer than a certain amount of time have it be an automatic option to turn on yeah because i know some people don't like to be with tips right they don't want to be helped they want to like experience experience it. yeah and, and solve the mysteries themselves or the puzzles but there's other people that are not that way and the little tips helps the most or you know help well it's kind of like tool tips in the like the lego games yeah we could have turned those off yeah but we also didn't need them at the same time we just kind of left them on because we didn't care yeah but it also provided some funny content here and there yeah in this case i understand uh, the the tone the atmosphere of the game is going for yeah but i do agree in some instances it is helpful to have that little hint pop up somewhere saying hey try doing this yeah because i mean if i understand the the you want to give the player that uh, uh immersion immersion of uh, from this game um and also the story that's just uh, you still get it regardless yeah i mean this is a story where there's no uh there's almost no context yeah 
And there's no dialogue. Yeah. Other than hearing hey from the boy that you play as. Yeah. But I have played games where they do have tips. And I don't even notice the tips more than half the time if I if that game even has them in there. Yeah. Because they do so well blending it in with the environment and what's going on on the screen. They can do that. They That has been done. It can be done. This, I feel like it would have been helpful to have just some here and there for like the puzzles if it, you were mm-hmm. taking a long time. Yeah. Like more than two minutes. It just pops up with a hint saying, hey, try doing this. Because it, it, it did in the first at the beginning at the forest where it was like press R2 to hold. But that was more like tutorial. That was, that was more, more of telling you how to play the game yeah, rather but, than a tip on how to get past a certain part. Yeah. And I will say this. The, the art style is fantastic in this game. It's not the most fantastic I've ever seen. Because it felt like they were going for more of a realistic style with a darker, grittier tone overlaid everything. Mm-hmm. Which does help with the atmosphere. Yeah. Is it my favorite art style? No, but it's a really dang good one. It kind of reminded me of Claymation. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I don't get me wrong, I don't hate Claymation. I actually like Claymation a lot, but it does lend itself more towards the horror aspect of the film genre. Yeah. Because every time you look at a Claymation figure, Moving on screen, it does give you that uncanny value. Something always feels off. Yeah, we always we see it with Nightmare Before Christmas or uh, what's that? What's the other one? The Giant Peach, James and the Giant James and the Giant Peach. Yeah, more uh, James and the Giant Peach. I think is a lot more darker than Nightmare Before Christmas because oh, yeah. Nightmare Before Christmas is more of that lighter tone holiday movie. Yeah, great, and they leaned into the the oddness, and so that's why that one's not really as creepy. But I can see where creepiness comes from in that as well. Yeah. James and the Giant Peach. That's nightmare fuel. In some instances. Yeah. Good game. I liked it. It's just I I I'm not, I'm just stupid. And I knew what I was gonna get myself into when I, you started it. When I started it, and I I yeah. I was like, I never played the second one. I played the first one. So. And when you got upset, I was I was letting you get through the emotion. I wasn't really trying to calm you down. I was just going, okay, so let him get free. Because <laughs> you got ticked, man. Dude, I got so upset just because of their stupid. It's just her, just one tiny touch and I'm dead, dude. And, and that's what I'm saying. I feel like they could have made that room a bit bigger and slow down six just slightly to give I, you some more time. I had more, I had more, um, I had a hard time with the controls a little bit. They weren't the smoothest at all, honestly. Like So a little tanky? Yeah. Okay. I, I struggle with the axe. I, I, the, the responding of the, from you know, from triggering the the button to the game, the the responding time is there was well, a massive delay. Yeah, it was, yeah, there was a few delay there, and that might be due to the fact that it is more of a horror based game, trying to depower you, and instill that sense of urgency and panic. Yeah, but so. when it instills frustration, they kind of failed at what they were setting out to do. Yeah. I, it, it never clicked to me that the the two back doors you were able to one will put you at the top of the platform i never knew that i i don't know why but it, yeah i mean i made that connection but at the same time i also wasn't playing the game yeah and i also wasn't frustrated with it yeah so it, it did its job yeah, yeah. It, it did make you feel emotion. Yeah, even though some of those emotions were not the emotions they were aiming for. <laughs> yep. So hey, that's what the emotions the viewers were aiming for, though. They probably wanted to see you scream and yell. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much. And almost throw your controller at a TV. <laughs> uh, I was when I heard you. I, I'm done with this. I thought you were gonna throw the controller at the TV. Honestly, no. 
Yeah. I've, I've actually destroyed stuff like that that way, so. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't think I've ever... Well, I, I can't say I've never felt frustration with a game. I have felt frustration with games. But I don't think I've ever felt frustration to the point where I destroyed the controller or threw it at something. Do I do the most with PvPs. Is that player versus versus environment? Player versus player. PV oh PvP. I was thinking PVE. No, P I was hearing. Oh PvP. I'm sorry. Yeah, PvP is where I where I really get frustrated because of you know lack of skills and stupidity from other players online. So. It's that meme where uh, that the opponent's team and it's pretty much all the Avengers and it says my team and it's the store wish brand knockoff version of the event oh yeah captain canadian syrup <laughs> yeah do you think of your uh, your flea market ripoff superhero think of the worst bootleg version you, of anything you, you've ever seen you have like your package of action figures but you that's all dc but you have spider-man in there too yeah and the only thing you can move is their arms up and down and their legs go sideways. And it looks like they're trying to hump the air when you <laughs> when you hit the action button on them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gotta have some humor in there, man. You know what I miss about those toys? It was the old Power Ranger toys where you could just flip their head and it just go from like the human to the to the Ranger helmet. To the Ranger helmet. I thought that was cool. Um you know, we're going off topic. On the yeah, we're going off topic. <laughs> uh, but in terms of this, I do, I don't play them as much as I used to, as not, or as I would like to. Yeah. But I do enjoy puzzle games. I do enjoy exploring environments. Uh, probably, which is why I'm kind of enjoying the Sinking City, which I'm playing off. Yeah. On my own. It's more of a horror survival game, but you do have some puzzle elements in there. It is a lot of reading. Yeah. And I would like to just, you know, just tell me where to go. Let me do some puzzles, Resident Evil style, without the fear of a monster popping up out of nowhere and eating my face, and I'll be happy. Yeah, with this game, is you have the puzzle, but you also are being attacked, or you're also being chased. And there's not enough for me to think at the same time, because... And that's the uh, sense of emergency and panic. Yeah. And the play. It's kind of like, okay, what am I supposed to do? It's like that one kid who was in timeout, right, in the school, and I have to go grab the, the bar and smash him with it. But I was like, wait, what am I supposed to do at first? But anyway, yeah. And that was a difficult thing as well because that, I think, gave you more time than what six gave you at the end of the game. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Are they going to do a third Little Nightmares or do they just call it's, it good at two? Oh, is this like, well, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a third one. Because it's been how many years since this one came out? Like three or four? Three to four. The mobile game was three years ago. I'm pretty sure the mobile game came about a year after. After the first one? Yeah. So about four years. So hopefully they do another one. If not, I feel like this might make an interesting, like, little animated TV series. Because you don't need, as we were talking, you don't need the dialogue. No. Just the emotion and the expressions that people give you without talking is enough a lot of times. And we don't really have that much anymore. No. We, we live in a society where there's always noise somewhere we always have to have something going on to help us focus you always have that one companion npc that's just talking and talking yes sir thank you sir <laughs> yeah that like reminds me of the, the fairy from ocarina hey hey listen yeah a lot of people place the sword from skyward sword as one of the best companions oh I remember her name i don't recall I never beat that one yeah. Anyways, 
I was hoping for this credit to be ended, but uh, it should be any. Uh, but yeah, give us. Oh, um, I could just do this. Yeah, you can do this. I guess. Oh. Uh, give us a. I guess subscribe. Yeah, give like me your, the video. Yeah, give me your leftovers. How about that? Huh? Give us your leftover food if you want. Um, yeah. But yeah, tell us what you thought of the game. Oh, it's dumb. Tell us of anything you'd like to maybe see in the future. And yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, oh, production babies in memory of something. Someone's there. Is there any 2021 end credits? End credits? That should be the end of the credits. Yeah. Maybe. So yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, no, what is there? Nothing. Anyways, yeah, what you said. Yeah, if you like the video, guys, uh, hit that subscribe and notification and show support. I we appreciate that. So. See you guys in the next one. We'll see what the next game will be. And yeah, if you have anything that you would like to suggest to us to check out in the future, feel free. Those glitching remains discovered. Oh, that's what those... That's what those little boys were? Yeah, the little shadows. Anyways. I don't know why I called them little boys. Anyhow, see you guys. <laughs>